Okay, folks, welcome back. We are in Braden. I got this LED strip here that's uh, lighting up the dash here a little bit. Not working down that way, but it's cheap. Check it out. So it is a little dark out. And we're going to do uh, a run up over here on 18. And then on the four flight app, which I'm recording, and I don't know if it's going to work because problems with that. So you go to flight plan, you go to reverse, and Orange County draws a line, and we're good to go. We're going to do a system test on the transponder, and we're good. System test failed. That's the ADS, ADSB antenna. It's got to get some service. Got some heat on in here. Going to taxi on down. And Braden traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November, taxiing down to 1 8th for departure. Braden. The doors are locked, I checked everything up, plane's good, plenty of fuel, plenty of fuel. So, strobes are going to be on, and I'm going to put the position lights on. System test, passed. There we go, then she passed, clear that out. AMGJ. The direct two. There you go. up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to do the handy dandy checklist over here somewhere at the bank in front of me, Welsh Fargo. So just over this little hill, or cliff I should say, like a, I don't know, about 15 feet down is a road and the cars are right there, about 15 feet from the plane. All right, run up time. Checklist time, I'm right back with you guys. Okay, checklist is complete. We're all checked out. That's good. I got flap set at 15. I'm trimmed for departure. RP Tim in, mixer, props full forward, fuel pump coming on. And we're going to take off. And Braden traffic, uh, Booney 8, 7 November, taking the active 1 8 for departure. Braden. Fuel pump coming on. We're all set. Doors are locked. Hatch done. Check that already. We're good to go. Now the DG. Check that out again right here. Use all the runway. Okay, hey, one eight, one five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. All right, folks, let's do it. We're all good. Everything looks good. Everything's in the green. Let's roll. All right, 65. She wants to fly already. All right, gear. Coming up. Watch your instruments, keep the wings level. Runway heading. Hey, five feet over the ground, flaps coming up. Trim down a little bit. Hey, Braden traffic, but he left crosswind, 18, Braden. 
Perfect. Nice turnout. Got those LEDs, LED belly strobe. That thing is bright as heck. <laughs> right, thousand over. Put that power back. Twenty-five over twenty-five initially here. Keep that turn coming in. Pull that prop back a little bit. Everything's in the green. Looking good. All right, looking for a zero five six heading, and we're gonna nail that, and then we're just straight there. Go to three point five. Beautiful night, finally. Playing light coming off. Fuel pump coming off. Everything looks good. So it says here traffic failed on the ADSB, so let's get some flight following. Pull that power back a little more. Allentown, good evening. Mooney, November 6887, November. Request. Mooney, 6887, November, Allentown approach. Good uh, evening, sir. Request. Right, we just departed Braden Air Park, uh, November 43, heading to Orange County. Uh, Mike, George, Juliet. Crescent flight following, climbing through 2,500 for 3,500. 87 November. 87 November, squawk 0455. 0455 in the box, 87 November. AC 4124, contact tower 120.5. Good night. 287 November, radar contact 3 miles east, Braden Airport. Allen Channel, altimeter 3044, proceed on course 3500. Okay, 3044, altimeter, and proceed to 3.5, 87 number. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You bet. Well, if you can't see that beacon, then I don't know what to tell you. I guess you should check their eyes a little more in a medical exam. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bright. I had that strobe, that old original strobe belly light, um, and eh, it's okay. Okay, we level out 3.5, and it slows down a little Seven bit. Zero, Charlie, Charlie, reset transponder squawk zero four four four. We're on course. down and we'll pull the mixture out. Clean it out a little bit. Okay. The wing leveling system on, see how that does. Oh, we got the heat Edgewater going. Aircraft, information. Zulu current, altimeter 304. What this message is for? ADSB. Fail. That happens once in a while, depending on the antennas and stuff, what's going on in the area. So we got flight following in the box, 0455. Ball center. There you have it. So, 130 knots over the ground. Got 24 over 22 and a half, 21 and a half. So we're still cooking pretty good with low power settings, the Mooney. Okay, 
Are things in the green? Diamond Zero, Charlie. Charlie, contact Philadelphia Approach, 124.35. On a nice calm day with this PC system. Um, wing leveling system, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty holds its core. It's pretty decent. you got to watch it. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's old school technology. But um, it works well for what I have it for. I don't know if I like this strip here. Uh, I don't know. Temperature outside is 38.3. So we're good with freezing temperatures. No visible moisture, so that's always good. Clear night. See if I can get some pictures here. Probably not, probably too dark. Ah, not too bad. As you get away from the city, it gets uh, pretty dark. So, when you're flying at night, again, this is my opinion, I'm not an instructor, but when you're flying at night, um, it's they're basically flying IFR. Let's face it. I mean, the reference point is gone, your horizon's gone, and everything else is pretty much gone, especially when you get closer into the wooded area of Pennsylvania, New York. Um, you know, so you really got to pay attention. Make sure you're on course. Make sure you're not blowing through your altitude. Make sure your wings are straight and level. And I checked the weather before I left. No clouds in the area, up to over 12,000. Um, but still have to check the weather. Um, the last thing you want to do, especially not on an IFR flight plan at night, flying through clouds and weather, you already can't see, and then you're going to be panicking, um, and that causes issues. And we see enough of that already. So um, flying at night is very important. Watch your gauges. your level. Get on flight following. They're going to send me over to New York, I would imagine, shortly. I don't know which channel. There's multiple channels. So, I'll just wait. Well, you know what? I'll put in... Um, I'll put in 132.75. Stand by. Let's just see if we get that channel. green. Still can't see the cylinder temperature with those lights. The yoke blocks that. So it's kind of annoying, but anyway, flying over Blairstown. Orange County in there. Let's see if we hear anything from them. One, two, two, seven, two. 
Most likely some students out there flying at night, who knows. Skyline 70 Victor Hotel, Allentown Approach, Allentown Altimeter 3043. Skyline 0 Victor Hotel, clear direct scoop intersection. That one's Sierra, Charlie, Oscar, Uniform, Papa, S-C-O-U-P. Join Victor 162 to Huguenot, and then as previously cleared, maintain 5,000. Forty-three miles away, 19 minutes to go, and we're cruising along here. Turn 37. Victor, read back was correct, except uh, you put an India on the front of Scoop. It's just uh, S-C-O-U-P, just to clarify. 140 miles an hour, 140 knots now over the ground. Mini 6887, uniform contact, New York approach on 123.77. Good evening. Set out for 8. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, I guess it's different. But uh, 687 November, your contact, uh, New York approach 123.77. Good evening. Okay, 23.77 now, 8 November. Thank you. Good night. Good. And New York, good evening. Uh, Mooney 8 of November is with you at 3.5. Mooney 8 of November, Roger. Which destination? Going to Orange County, sir. Royer, altimeter 3051. 3051, he's a number. Spread the traffic, uh, gate mic chart. So this is a lot better, the strip's a lot better for this area. Orange County traffic, helicopter 623 hotel, we're turning left base in runway 26 Orange County. Oh, helicopter's in the pattern, Orange County. It's good to have this set up. I got lyric approach in the active, I got another standby I can monitor on this radio, and I can also monitor on this radio. That's all Garmin. That's pretty cool. Let's put in the weather, Orange County, see what's going on over there. Orange County, helicopter November, contact approach on 132.75. Thirty-two seventy-five. Altitude minus one thousand four hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. Prince of traffic. Okay, Mike Charlie, turning left base one zero. Prince of traffic. Hey, New York. Good evening. Uh, Mooney eight November is with you at three point five. Seven of Roman aircraft. Here's approach. Turkey three or five or three. Request cancellation of flight following. And who is that last call? Three eight five one three. Request termination of flight following. Three eight five one three. Radar service will terminate about eight Traffic southeast of Stewart. You can twelve twelve hundred frequency change approved. Good night. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. Squad VFR. Delta one forty heavy. Maintain three hundred knots. Spearbird 9 Echo Heavy climb to 17,000. November 4, Delta Sierra, contact Albany 13282, good night. 4, Delta Sierra, contact Albany 13285, good night. Uh, 3282. 3282, 144, uh, 344, Delta Sierra. Delta 352, Boston, send us 340, good night. Delta 140, Heavy Direct Merit. There's a city. Right, beautiful, New York City. 19, New York City is 32-6, good day. Delta 140 heavy, maintain 300 knots, check on that speed, Boston's 34-0, good day. And the switch tanks, fuel pump coming on.
I take this thing off here. All right, fuel pump coming off. Looking good. And let's put this sort of harness back on. Exit 160, contact New York Center 326, can I? Freebird 9, Echo Heavy, don't exceed 300 on ops. Alright, everything's looking good. Everything's in the green, plenty of fuel, switch tanks. United 30, heavy, good evening, direct Switch tanks to the Tom fullest, and we're going to do our dumps shortly. we got about a 30 nautical mile. Speedbird 9, okay. Echo Heavy, contact Boston, 134. 140 zero, knots man. over the ground, and we're at 21 over 24. April 7661, Roger, Peter at Gale, climb to 16,000. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. United 30 heavy climb to 17,000. New York approach, 3078 X-ray. Go ahead. Request frequency change, 78 X-ray. You want to terminate uh, following? Negative, I want to check the weather at, uh, at destination. That's right, fine, go ahead and check the weather, just let me know when you're back. Copy, 78 X-ray. All right, so we're going to descend, let's go manifold pressure back a little bit. And landing lights coming on. This stupid thing. <laughs> One thing I don't like these damn overhead lights. Actually, at the airport in sight. There's red lights flashing over there. New York approach, Archer, November 3024, Charlie, 6000 request. I have to use 08. Right, Skywest 3845, uh, Cedar Red Gale. 3024 Charlie, uh, in your Dutch. 2 2 and 0 4, you can't use that. 7, night. Their is X ray, go ahead with your request. 3047 and requesting the RNAV runway 24 at Duchess. 24 Charlie. 24 Charlie, New York, Roger. 24 Charlie. New York approach, 3078 X ray. 78 X ray, you're back. Back on frequency. Thank you. Two four Charlie, can go direct to Vecu if you like to send to four thousand for that. Direct Vecu down to four thousand. Two four Charlie. Unless you'd want to just go right to Juve and uh, straight in. Direct Juve and straight in. Charlie, All right, we're gonna cancel IFR flight following, or excuse me, VFR flight following. Just a second. May Sky West, 3845, climb to 1-2000. Hey, 
and New York approach, 8th and November, airport in sight. Seven November, you have Orange County, uh, 12 o'clock at 20 minutes. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm not showing anybody between the U and the field. Radar service uh, will terminate. You get Squawk 1200, frequency change approved for 87 November. Have a good night. Okay, Squawk in uh, VFR, frequency change approved tonight. Appreciate the help. Thank you. Maple 7661, contact center 326. Connect. Automated weather observation. Zero, 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 niner, Zulu. Wind, two, zero, zero, at zero, five. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. And orange sky traffic, Moody 8th of November is 19 miles out. To the west, southwest, inbound for two six Orange County. Anybody in the pattern at Orange County? Okay, Mike Charlie, turning left, base one zero. Yeah, helicopter doing uh, closed left traffic on runway two six. I think we're the only ones here at the moment. Okay, I believe that uh, zero four and two two is not for nighttime operations, right? Yeah, just for day VFR at the moment. But you've got calm winds here, so two six should be good for you guys. Perfect. Thank you much, ma'am. Appreciate it. Yeah, have a good flight. Orange County, automated advisory. Please stand by. Print the traffic, Jack, Mike Charlie, 30, final one zero, print the traffic. Hey, we're looking good. Orange County, automated advisory. Wind, calm, altimeter, three zero four P for runway, listen for traffic. Door Gump soon. Very good acronym for a complex Orange airplane. Orange County, automated advisory. Gas and undercarriage, mm -hmm. mixture of props, three, speed, seatbelts. Runway, listen for traffic. And I put in a four flight app here, um, 45 to the midfield right downwind for six. So, to the airport, you can almost follow that line right, right on in. Gotta scoot over a little bit. Lights on, strobes are on. Anti collision light is flashing like crazy out there. And uh, wingtip lights are on. So I'll take a Christmas tree in this plane. Got two white strobes in the back, and then you have the red beacon in the belly. So it's pretty cool. Alright, let's stay right around here for now. I have the hill in sight. And let's head down a little more. The buzzer might go off here because it thinks you're landing, but well, there it is. But it's okay. Orange County traffic, helicopter 1630 hotel on the go, runway 26 for left post traffic, Orange County. Hey, Orange County traffic, moving 13 miles out to the southwest. Uh, through the midfield right down, went for 2-6, Orange County. That buzzer's annoying. I gotta adjust that. It's too high in the RPMs to, for it to go off. So, I don't like that. Orange County Helicopter 1660 Hotel, we're turning left downwind for runway 26, Orange County.
Alright, alright, there you go, how's it? There you go, that's better. What a nice clear night. Lights everywhere. Middle town's below us. Orange County traffic, uh, 166 near hotel, we're turning left base for 26. Perfect speed, once we get closer, the gear speed will come right in and the gears will go down. I love nights like this. Orange County helicopter with 63 Hotel, we're turning final for 26 Orange County. Get that gear down now. Hey, yeah, don't worry, gear's coming down. Alright, gear is down and locked. Hit my seatbelt with the Johnson's bar coming up, so I'll put that back on. I put a little loose on me. Airport still in sight. Good work, Giant. Traffic, uh, Mooney is now six miles out to the west inbound for 26145. But it feel right down with Orange. Alrighty. One notch. Oop. Everything's in the green. Plenty of fuel. Fuel's on the, fu uh, the mixture. Uh, da, 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 da. On the fuel, the fullest tank. I switched over to that already. Ay ay ay. Everything's in the green. Okay, gas is on. Undercarriage. That's undercarriage mixture. Prop be coming in shortly as we get a little closer. It's pitch dark down here. I see zero eight. One more notch, trim up a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I don't even, I don't even see uh, zero four and uh, two two runway lights even on. Okay, we're at pattern altitude. That's what I wanted to say. Like, I couldn't say that word last time. 1400. Lights are on. In Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November is downwind now for 26 Orange County, 1400. Is the uh, heli still in the pattern, Orange County? Yeah, we're on the numbers of 26. We're about to pick up and we're going to be departing to the south. And then uh, the airport's all yours. Have a good night. Thank you, man. Be safe. Good night. Thank you. Thanks. Likewise. Okay. Look 
looking good. A helicopter in runway. In the Orange County traffic, Moody has been filled right down with now. 26 Orange County. Helicopters in sight. Okay, gas, undercarriage, mixture. Good morning, Good morning. Helicopter 630 Hotel. We're on the go, runway 26, departing left. Uh, departing to the south. Orange County. Our Pete's in. We're going to watch our speed now. Things landing at night gets a little different than during the day. Gotta pay attention a little bit more. Every time you gotta land, you gotta pay attention. But at night, focus, focus, focus. Okay, full flaps. Let me try up a little bit more. Traffic, moving at right base now for 26 Orange County. All your uh, reference points are gone at night that you're used to, so that's why it's extra. Extra caution at night when you're flying. And Orange County traffic, Mooney turning right. Correction, uh, yeah, turning final now for a 26 full stop, Orange County. 500 AGL. Perfect. Let's get around. See how this turnout pans out for me today. Not bad. Not bad. Watch that speed. So gears down, flaps are down, gas under carriage mixture prop speed, 80 miles an hour. Eighty miles an hour, eighty miles an hour. A little more power. Runway's lit up with this LED landing light, beautiful. 80 miles an hour, power coming back. Little bump there. All right, pull the power back, all the way back. And we're at idle. One more gear, look at that gear light, it is down. And let's go, come on, perfect, look at that. Nice one, carpy going right in, flaps going up. There we go. Diagram comes right up. And this plane is uh, bright now. All right, get some heat in here, or uh, some air in here. Carp in, carp heat's in, and fuel pump's coming off. Turn the heat off. Well, there you have it. Another awesome night of flying. And Orange County traffic. I'm going to clear 26 now, Orange County. Be taxiing the T3s. Orange. Well, there you have it, folks. We are here. Close this out. I, let's see if this thing recorded. I, I put the record button on. I'm trying to record this map for you on the iPad, so I can kind of put that in a video, but every time I try to save it, it ends up screwing up somehow, so I don't know. I guess you're supposed to hit this. Who knows if it's saved? I don't know. But let's find out. 
I'll wait until we get to the end here. So at night, again, um, it's almost like you're flying IF IFR, so oh, the lights went out. When you go out on short final, it's always exciting. It's like, oh, I just lost my reference. So yeah, at night, it's, you're flying IFR. Unless you're flying around the city, and you, you have your reference, but you still lose your horizon, and you still, if you're in the like, Orange County area, and this area, Pennsylvania, this area as well, and uh, Jersey, um, it's it's pitch dark, you have farms all over the place, so you really got to pay attention to your instruments, so it's like flying IFR. So definitely um, go up at night if you're uncomfortable going instructor. But definitely get that in because you never know where you might have to, you might have to fly at night one day and you're not going to be really nervous. But it's all good. It's all practice. Every day, fly, you learn something new. Every day. That's how you get your experience. Not to let the plane sit in the, in the hangar or tie down forever and you fly, you know, five hours a year. It's not going to work. In Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney Cross with the approach end of 2 six on Bravo, continuing to the T3 hangars, Orange County. For a good right, they left. So yeah, you, you gotta fly. And the planes don't like to sit around. My last annual uh, compressions actually went way up compared to my first annual because this plane, this plane sat for a long time. Not didn't sit, but it only got, I think, 20 hours and like, Five years, I'm come crazy, but at least he took care of the engine and um, had heat on it and everything else. So let's see what happened here. So screening record, screen recorded, failed. Due to the operation couldn't be complete. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what that means. I can't ever record this stupid thing. And orange guy traffic, but clear two six orange. I don't know what this thing. I can make it do an update or something. Trying to record my flight with the ForeFlight app, so I can show you how easy it is to use, uh, but it doesn't record. So there you have it. So if anybody has any questions about aviation, um, planes, ideas, uh, or if any you guys can give me any ideas, any pointers that I can learn from, because I, I don't take things for as an assault. I want to learn, but want to also inspire people to do this because it's easy and it's fun. Look what you can do. Joy of aviation is my passion. I loved it as a kid and I, I worked hard. You know, and it wasn't easy for me either growing up. I you, know, you hear a lot of that. I had a uh, father passed away of cancer when I was really young and my mom uh, was mentally handicapped because she got hit by a drunk driver when I was about three years old. So now I had to work hard my whole life, and thank God my grandparents stepped in and took care of the kid, me and my sister. Um, and they pushed me to do this. I love to do it. So, yeah, definitely check it out, folks. Definitely check out Aviate. It is awesome, and all these tools are here for you. Okay. PilotFun101, gmail.com for emails. Uh, congratulations to Ed again from Texas. 62 years young and just got his private that he's been looking to get for 50, 40 plus years. Um, thank, thank you for watching and uh, for the emails you sent me because that keeps me going too to do these uh, videos because it's time consuming um, and you got to edit everything and it's expensive. You got to buy everything. But I want to help other pilots who look at one video of mine and say, wow, that's awesome. All right, folks, here I am, T3, my hangar here. I got a Christmas tree in the uh, plane with that new belly strobe. Every time something goes on sale, um, that one update on this plane, I just I buy it because it's, but it has to be done anyway, it looks better and better for uh, daytime. So, Pilot Fun 101. For emails and Pilot Fun 101, for um, we call me on Facebook. I do post stuff on Facebook, and 
like always, folks, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. That kind of gets me, keeps me going. Uh, knowing people out there that are actually looking at the videos. And uh, if, you, if you like, we want automatic notifications, guys. You can also hit the bell. And every time I upload a video, you can get notified first. And it's been a while, about, I don't know, about three weeks or so since so I did this. Okay, folks, like always, fly safe, be safe. Until next time. So I just wanted to show you guys the new LED, oh my goodness, it's bright. The new LED strobes here that I got. Um, two whites in the back. I really wanted the all red in the bottom, but they ordered it that way, which is fine. So November 6, 8, 8, 7 November. And then in front of that belly beacon is, of course, the red. So, and then the LED wingtip lights. I saw the strobe on the wingtip with LED wingtip lights. And look at this, it's like a Christmas tree out here. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. And you see the, you see the red underneath, pink force facing us. And there's a landing light. And of course we have a student right there coming on in. It looks like in the diamond. Well, there you have it. There's a Mooney. M20C Ranger lit up like a Christmas tree, folks. Pretty cool. Oh, I hate this part, putting her away. Go back to the back real quick again. And there's the two. There you go. Alright guys, see you later.